I'm Gershon Cohen, co-founder with Michael Fishback of Earth Island Institute's Great Whale Conservancy. Michael spends two months in the Sea of Cortez every winter photographing blue, finback, and humpback whales to help track these magnificent animals across our oceans while observing their complex behaviors in the wild. On Valentine's Day in 2011, Michael, his family, and a few friends were presented with a rare opportunity, a chance to save the life of a humpback whale. Their efforts were captured on film. Here's their incredible story. Yeah, you definitely you want to video as much of this as you can. I, this, this I is, you know, this, we, we need to use this to help these animals. On Valentine's Day, while plying the waters of the Sea of Cortez, I came upon a young humpback whale that appeared to be dead. We floated next to the whale for several minutes, but we saw no signs of life. Suddenly, the whale rose slightly in the water and forcefully exhaled. I decided to ease into the water with my snorkeling gear in order to assess the situation. I quickly discovered the whale was severely entangled in a gill net of the type used by local fishermen. As I swam alongside the animal, our eyes met. There were no words we could share, but I wanted to let the whale know that we were there to help. It took some effort to stay focused given the great emotion of the moment. The sight of this large and beautiful creature trapped and so close to death was almost overwhelming. And I must admit I was a bit scared because I knew the whale was frightened and fatigued but could still kill me with one panicked movement. The situation was indeed bleak. The tail was entangled in so much gear it was weighted down a full 15 feet below the surface. Both pectoral fins were pinned to the side of its body and the nylon gill net went all the way up the whale's back forward of the dorsal fin. Yeah. I'm freaking out. I got his uh, I got his dorsal fin free, that's it. His pack, his pack and his flukes are screwed. Huh? I made a bit of headway, but it seemed too great a task. So I went back aboard to radio for help. We were told that perhaps in an hour someone else would arrive. And we all knew that by then it might be too late. While I was working around the pectoral fin, my boatmates George and Wero had managed to get some of the net pulled over the side of our ponga. I came back aboard and we pulled and cut the net as fast as we could. We were maneuvering the boat into proper position with a paddle and only had one small knife, but after great effort managed to free one of the pectoral fins. She's right here. Right on both sides. Where, I'm gonna paddle again. Where, I'm gonna paddle this paddle. Sensing a spark of freedom, the young whale started to swim, taking us on a Nantucket sleigh ride through the Sea of Cortez for about a half of a mile. We're being taken for a ride by a whale. Can I hold the rope or something? No, you're good, you're good. The whale eventually tired and came back up right underneath us. We continued to grab more and more net and haul and cut, haul and cut, and after nearly a half hour, the other pectoral fin came mostly free. And when the whale tired, we began cutting the net off the powerful tail fluke. Come on! Oh my God! The fluke is upside down now. Oh no! Oh really? I'm trying to sound. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab that plate, grab that plate. No. 
It's okay, hon. Get it down below. Get it down below. You got to use the fulcrum. I got that. Yeah, I am. I am. I got him. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I think you might need to cut it and let her go with it. Finally, after about an hour of exhausting work, we decided we had enough net aboard to make the final cut. We were hoping enough net was off the fluke to free her. Call is free. The tail is free. Okay, cut. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! We did it! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Let's pull it all in. <laughs> you saved the humpback whale. Oh, yeah! <laughs> what a good... She slowly swam away, but about 500 feet from our boat, she breached high into the air. I cleared all the net from underneath the boat and we headed off, five tired but exhilarated people with a boatload of nylon netting. Free! Free to live life. Yeah. Yay! Yeah! Yay! For the next hour, she provided us with an incredible full surface display. We saw at least 40 breaches as well as tail lobs, tail slaps, and pectoral fin slaps. Wow. <laughs> we all believed it was at least a show of pure joy, if not thanks. <laughs> What is she doing, She's hun? showing us that she's all free. Yeah. I think she's showing us a thank you dance. I think so, Galen. We followed her for about four miles over the next hour and said goodbye. Needless to say, we were all proud and thrilled that we saved this fantastic young life. It was an incredible experience that none of us will ever forget. Yeah, did I got you, a little bit of an ID. Did you here. get a little ID? Yeah, okay, now we're gonna get a breach. Uh, we're, at, we're Michael, I'm on a movie. It's all right. We're gonna get a breach. So I'm just right. The Great Whale Conservancy was launched in 2010 to advocate for the great whales. They need our help and protection to survive. To learn more about our current efforts and find out how we can work together, please call or email us and visit the Great Whale Conservancy website.